Hi guys, Proji Prime here, back with another custom review. Today we're looking at the Transformers Shattered Glass Rumbler. Now, this actually was decided in a fan poll that happened pretty recently, where I, where I was said, you know, decided trying to figure out which review I want to do this week, and ended up this one was the winner by actually not too much. Like they were, they were really neck and neck. Like I think one was like fifty six percent, and the other one was forty four or something around there. Like it was it was really close. But uh, but yeah, if you guys like the whole like voting for the next week's video thing. If you want to make it a thing, let me know. Like, we'll make we'll make it a thing. <laughs> so, but yeah. Anyways, let's go ahead and look at him here. Which, as you can tell, this is based off of the core class Megatron from Kingdom. Put for ugly him. Let's look at a few of the paints. So I used some red. Little focus. Thank you. I used a little bit of gold leaf. Some blue. And... Some dark gray. Also, would like to apologize in advance because I am uh, I am puppy sitting right now. So if you hear any small dog noises, you know why. <laughs> but anyways, in tank mode, he really isn't all that different. Like really, the only bits that are different is just some red that I painted here, make it pop a little bit, which is kind of a shame because this is like Rumbler's main mode. Because like here, here is the actual shatter glass Rumbler. And it's just like, I kind of want to keep that sort of realistic aesthetic, and it didn't really work if I did, like, this side blue and then this side silver and all of that, like, for the raw mode especially. So I decided to just kind of keep it mundane and tank mode. But, uh, but yeah, I still do like how this looks. Is like, you know, it's him being made into, like, a proper transforming thing because, you know, he's just a tank. Like, he's he's basically Roller, like G1 Roller. This is what this is. But, uh, but yeah, I also almost put the Decepticon logo here, but then I realized in raw mode it would be upside down, and that would just look weird. But, uh, but yeah. Anyways, let's, this is a custom review. We don't really have to focus on transformation as usual, so let's go ahead and get him into his robot mode. And here in robot mode is where, of course, most of the changes are. They're, they're mostly subtle still. Like, um, let's see if I can get a wee bit more up so I can show you the head which I think just looks real nice little focus come on come on thank you see like there's where I use the dark gray and the gold for the eyes and then the black here is actually um these bits I just took the paint off because they're molded in black so it's much cleaner than if I like painted all of this black I think it looks quite nice now also we got blue hands now and the red going down the cannon then actually the sides here are now like blue instead of red. You can kind of see it. You also kind of see like the silver that's still underneath the chest. Then we got blue on the insides of the legs, which I think really pops and posing. Then little little red toesies. But uh, but yeah, this is actually the robot mode for this is very loosely based on a figure I covered last year. The TFCon exclusive, I think Pistol Onyx was the name. Which, the colors I noticed were like kind of similar to Rumbler, so I thought it'd be kind of neat to like loosely base it on this. Which I remember I, I posted this at one point, for that it would be a future video, and I think in the comments someone guessed it Pistol Onyx. And I was like, ah, you're, you're close. <laughs> so to that person, it was based on it, there you go. But yeah, like some of the similarities, like the blue inner legs and the blue hands and like the black chest and even the head a little bit. But I decided to go with gray instead of silver just because I thought it would look nicer, and I think it it really does look nicer. It just kind of adds this extra little bit of, like, premium to it. And then here he is with himself. And I think, like, for, like, modernizing the, the design a bit to be more than just a tank, I, I, I don't think it's too bad. I think we did pretty well. It's uh, it's very basic. Like, this is a very basic custom. Like, this didn't... This took me, like, two sittings, you know? Like, like, I, like the, the hardest part was just taking off all the silver paint because for some reason it was really really hard to get off of the chest <laughs> like I don't I don't know why like sometimes paint just wipes off like nothing and other times it's it's impossible so I don't I don't, I don't know what, what they did to this thing but just I could not get it off so it took me it took me a good while and I couldn't even take it off to soak either because like the part for like spinning the whole turret is in here but like I could take the head off and that's really all I could do but I do think this turned out quite quite nice 
Now, unfortunately, there isn't, like, some way that I can make this mount on Megatron's arm, which I I can't say. I forgot to grab him before I started filming this, and the, the puppy that is sleeping is, like, right in the way of me grabbing it, and I don't want to move him, wake him up, and a whole thing starts. So, we're not gonna, we're not gonna have him, we're not gonna have him, sorry. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, he can't really mount on an arm, however... On the bottom of the tank mode, which I forgot to show in tank mode, is his, like, stand port. Like, it's flipped where it's, like, facing un the underside. And, like, I don't know, if anyone wants to make, like, a 5mm to, um, like, 3mm, I think, adapter to where it can just plug in, by all means, I will happily put that in a video at some point, or, you know, shout out. I'll, I'll, I'll buy that, just, just, just to do it. I won't display it like that, but just to have the, just to have the fun, dumb option, I'd do it. But yeah, again, this is a very basic custom, like, it doesn't really take too much to do, like, even, heck, I'm pretty sure that, like, someone can do most of this. I'd say the cannon bit, but, like, little red bits here might be a little bit difficult, maybe the head, but, like, I think, like, getting the paint off, as long as you're careful, you'll be fine. Like, painting a lot of the bits, like, you can just, like, disassemble this whole part from this, so this is pretty easy to paint. This is, like, a raised bit, so, like, it's not, nothing, like, overly, overly difficult outside of, like, this area for the most part, and then I guess the cannon. But, uh, but yeah, I do like how it turns out, turned out still, like, I, I was kind of surprised with how much I liked it, because I'm like, this is just, it's simple, but it works, it, it just works, and I, and I appreciate it. But anyways, that is pretty much all I have to say, so, be sure to check out my channel for more video and custom reviews, and please don't forget to subscribe, you can always come check out my Facebook and Tumblr pages, links in the description below, and you can always come join the Infinisun Discord server, also linked in the description below, and this is the 14th Prime, signing out.